Tonight, a recovery effort planned for the community of Pajaro. It's on hold after Monterey County leaders asked the Office of Emergency Services to make slight modifications. The holdup, it's not going to last long, though. Changes are expected by tomorrow. For example, the county wants more state dollars to go towards people for their flooding expenses and also allocated for the community's middle school. KION's Dania Romero has been following this this issue for us. Tonight, creating a formula to rebuild Pajaro. $20 million proposed to address multiple problems in Pajaro after devastating flooding back in March. Some are more long term, including mental health issues felt in the community. One of my close friends, uh, very close family friends, uh, not too long ago, uh, he committed suicide for the same reason that there aren't enough opportunities uh, because of uh, what happened during the floods. Monterey County's Department of Emergency Services laid out which services the $20 million would help with. Mental health, funding for undocumented flood survivors, money to help rebuild Pajaro Middle School, and small business recovery are just some of the many areas the county wants to help with this money. There are so many things next to be addressed in Pajaro. For residents like Uriel, who experienced two floodings in Pajaro in his lifetime. He says the county isn't doing enough. They should address this issue with the levy at least 27 years ago. During the meeting, Supervisor Glenn Church acknowledged the Pajaro area has been neglected for far too long. This is changing from that because we realize it's unfair, and that's what we're trying to address, past inequities. The, the levy and the infrastructure repair is, is, is based on tax bases within the communities. Pajaro is a community of 3,000, a working class community. It does not have a great deal of resources. Uriel says the $20 million is not enough, but is a step in the right direction. But as a resident of Pajaro for decades, he wonders where the money has been going all this time, the last time the town flooded. Where is that money goes? We haven't seen any improvement. We pay for the line, for the lights. We pay to maintain the parks in Pajaro. They charge that on my property taxes. So what are they doing with our revenue? Now there were some concerns Luis Alejo brought up regarding where the money was going. He says half a million dollars is not needed for a housing study. And another thing to highlight from the meeting is that county supervisors recognized that small businesses in Pajaro have received nothing but loans. Reporting in Salinas, Tania Romero, KION News Channel 46. County supervisors were told also discussing that plan again tomorrow at noon. The county does have until December 31st of next two years from now to decide on how exactly these funds were going to be used and start using them then.